What's the best computer to post-process images? Is one of the most frequently asked questions in workshops when people meet me. By the way, can I please request you to subscribe to this channel so that you get all the updates that we send. Uh, also, it's a good idea to hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications when we have new content. So, uh, I, I'm actually a Mac user, as I keep saying. I use an Apple computer, especially a MacBook Pro for my everyday usage. I use that to check my mails as well as to uh, uh, download pictures into my Lightroom, uh, as well as uh, use it to develop photographs while on the field, as well as when I come here and I attach it uh, with a monitor like this. So um, I use a Mac actually, that's because Mac uses uh, a color profile, uh, which is very interesting. It's actually much better than uh, the sRGB color profile. It's called the DCIP3. And also it enables you to look at your pictures with a very good color gamut. It actually seems so much better. Whenever somebody is sitting with me in a workshop and they're looking at the same picture in their uh, machine and they look at it on my MacBook Pro, they think it looks much better. That's also because a MacBook Pro has a retina display, allows you to look at images with a higher resolution and makes it look much sharper. But of course, it costs a lot more to have a MacBook Pro. If you have budget constraints, you can also be using any Windows uh, uh, laptop which actually has a very good graphics card and has reasonable amount of memory and hard disk space. Usually people who like to do gaming can also have computers which have all of these things and uh, probably doubles up as a very good machine in order to post process your images. I also do a lot of video editing on my MacBook Pro and uh, it's really something I have not uh, uh, faced an issue with when it comes to performance or speed or you know processing information with such amount of data. Uh, and mind you, I work with 4K videos at times and really uh, a very good system to do that as well. So it's not really important to use a Mac if you are a Windows user, please go ahead, but make sure you have the system specs which are really um, uh, pro doing things like these with respect to uh, uh, RAM, with respect to graphics card, with respect to hard disk space. And also, as I said, it's also important to have a display which can actually show you the colors that you need. By the way, if you are a photography enthusiast who takes pictures in, in raw file format and you're wondering how to learn post-processing, you should actually be signing up for the Lightroom course. We have a very robust course which talks about the details of library management of how you can work with images and also gets deeper into the develop module of Lightroom. And the link to that course is right below in this description. I urge you to actually take up Lightroom as a serious uh, endeavor where you learn how to post-process and manage your photographs to become an efficient photographer.